What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Daisy. You guys have really been requesting a video about her, so I wanted to just fill you in on Daisy's story and how she got to my house and how we became best friends. And yeah, all good things about her. Right, baby? Yes, okay. Before I start talking about Daisy, I did wanna, want to give you guys an update about my previous cat, Tabitha. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I posted it a few months ago and unfortunately somebody lost my cat, Tabitha, and it was a big heartbreak for me for probably about three weeks straight. We searched for her and we did everything that we possibly could. Um, I'll put that video in the description box below so you can you know, hear about all the things that we did to try to find her. It is now, you know, December now and I lost her. I mean, I didn't lose her. Somebody else lost her um, back in June. So unfortunately, um, we haven't found her yet. And I'm not sure if we ever will, but I've come to peace with it. And I'm just really hoping that Tabitha either is, you know, living in a cat colony outside somewhere and has, you know, adequate like food and water and is just really happy being an outdoor cat or, right, yes. Um, or Tabby has found uh, another human to just love her and take care of her. And you know, if Tabby ever decides to come home or if I do ever find her one day, then she is more than welcome to come back into our home and be a sister to Daisy. So moving on to Daisy's story, the reason that I have Daisy now is um, partly because Tabitha, you know, got lost. And if you guys didn't already know, I have been volunteering at the animal shelter for almost three years now. And um, I have a huge soft spot for animals who are in shelters and don't have homes. And I have uh, an extreme soft spot for senior animals, whether that be cats or dogs, because from my years, uh, volunteering at the shelter, I've just seen so many of the older cats just get passed over and they stay at the shelters for so long. Like for example, Tabitha was in shelters for about a year and a half before I adopted her. And Daisy had also been in a shelter for about a year and a half before I adopted her. The funny thing about Daisy is, and I think I have her hair in my mouth. Um, <laughs> but the funny thing about Daisy is, is I never thought that she would be the cat that I would adopt. Um, I love tortoiseshell, tortoiseshell cats and calico cats and like all black cats. And so a black and white cat wouldn't be one that would like stick out to me, even though I love all cats. And you know, I would even take a hairless cat if I, you know, if I needed to. Um, yeah, yeah, baby but she was always a fan favorite. And she was actually adopted two separate times at the shelter that I volunteer at. And then she was at two other shelters before she even arrived at the shelter that I volunteer at. So I think in total, it was about a year and a half that she just didn't have a home. And Daisy will turn 10 in March. So she is an older cat. And I always wonder like where she was at for those you know, eight and a half years before she got to the shelter. I don't, I don't know if, if she had a home and maybe her previous owners passed away or maybe, you know, when she got old, they didn't want her anymore. So they just gave her up. And I know that that sounds horrible, but a lot of people do that. When their animals start getting older, they want like a puppy or kitten again. So they just give the older animal to the shelter and then they, you know, just adopt a younger one. So I don't know why she was passed up, but um, I'm really happy to have her now. And the reason why I ended up choosing her to take home after, you know, it had been a couple weeks that we hadn't found Tabitha, there was two reasons. 
And one, she gets along with other cats really well. So I knew that, you know, I always have this hope, like if Tabitha comes back, I wanna make sure that I have a cat who likes other cats and gets along with them. So she is cat social. And then another reason too, she was the longest resident at our shelter and she was getting really, really, really stressed out being there. Like all day long, she would just be going like this to her cage door because she just wanted to come out and play. She's gonna go eat some food now and probably come back in a second. But um, she would always be like scratching at the door to try to get out and she just really loved human affection. Um, she was adopted twice and the previous families that she was adopted to, one family had like five women living in a home and then the other family had like 11 people living in the house and Daisy is a really shy cat and she's not that great with strangers. So I just feel like those two homes wouldn't be good fits for her. And, and then, you know, these people kept her for a little while and then returned her back to the shelter. And the last people to adopt her actually shaved her fur to make her look like a lion. And, you know, it, it's kind of cute when a cat like, looks like a lion, but for a cat like Daisy who's super shy and stuff, I don't think that was the best thing to do to her because it stressed her out a lot. And cats also just, they wanna have their fur. So when their fur is gone and somebody takes that away from them, they're kind of confused because they're used to grooming that and it's just, it's not natural for them. So it was kind of cute, I guess but um, I'm so happy that all of her fur has grown back now and she's just like really comfortable and happy being at home with me. And one thing I forgot to mention guys, Daisy's name was actually Rose at the shelter, but I thought that Rose was kind of like an old lady's name and Daisy's are my favorite flowers. So I just thought that Daisy would be a better name for her. Do you like Daisy? You like Daisy better than Rose? Yeah. Um, one thing that did happen, unfortunately, when Daisy was in the shelter is she caught a disease being in the shelter for that long. And um, for those of you watching, I hope that you can be mature about this subject, but um, she actually has feline herpes. And that's something common that cats can get when they're in an environment where it's maybe not that sanitary or there's a bunch of different cats like ringworm is really common for cats to catch in shelters and herpes is also common so with herpes and cats it's much different than with humans um, basically it drops their immune system so they're more prone to getting like colds and upper respiratory infections and then they also get some like discharge that comes out of their eyes so Daisy is doing a lot better than when I first got her, but she still has like outbreaks here and there and her eyes will get itchy. So what we try to do is just make sure that her eyes stay clean and then also keep our home as stress-free as we can. I knew when I was adopting her that she had some like medical issues that I was gonna have to keep an eye on and just make sure that they didn't get any worse and also, you know, give her some medicine or supplementation when she needs it. But I'm I'm just so happy to have her and I think that she's so happy to be in a quiet home. And yeah, we've become the best of friends. She's very chatty and she loves to cuddle. She what else does she love? She likes playing with her toys, but she likes playing by herself. She doesn't like you playing with her. And yeah, she's a good girl. So that is my best friend, Daisy. And she's very happy that all of you guys are interested in her and get to meet her over the internet. And I, I, think, I think that's all I've got about Daisy. Can you say goodbye? If you guys have any other questions about cats or about Daisy, you can let me know in the comments below and I will try to respond and get back to you guys. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And if you think, if you think Daisy's cute, then make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys next week. Bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Please, please.
Can you say goodbye? No. <laughs> she growled at me. She growled. 